Hi again guys, uh, in this video we are going to see together how we can modify the content of a table which means how we can update a table. Uh, first of all we have our employee table. I select all the information or all the rows inside this table so uh, we have here the result I have so far in this table three rows with ID 1, 2 and ID 3 and uh, what we can do is uh, first of all I'm going to delete or I'm going to clear this screen and the syntax for updating a table is update this is the keyword update my table which is training db dbo employee set so this is also a keyword see uh, for example we can uh, suppose that this employee Jenny Brown which uh, she was living at or in Hull, the, the, the Hull city and she moved uh, from Hull to Sherbrooke so I'm gonna modify her uh, the city where she, she used to live so set city equal so equal uh, we said Sherbrooke and if I leave the, the update like this the, the, the engine the SQL Server 2012 engine will update all the rows so I have to specify that this modification of the city for this table is linked or is related to this employee which is Jenny Brown I can provide here I can say I can see that uh, we we do something like this where ID equal to and I uh, I, I check that I am sure that this modification will uh, will affect just one row because if I put like an, a, a where, where where this uh, this modification can affect three or four rows, uh, this can't work. So I I make sure that this ID is unique or this where uh, filter is unique, so we can have just one modification. So now I select so this statement and I execute it and you see here we have one row affected and uh, uh, so now I can go back to my employee table I select again and here we see that Jenny Brown now uh, I see I put Sherbrooke's so uh, lives now in Sherbrooke instead of uh, instead of Hall. So I can make another update here. While Sherbrooke, I think yeah, it's this way. Suppose that this is the way it's written. Execute, and again, I'm going to execute this one. You see Sherbrooke, I think with an E. So I continue modifying. Uh, it's going to modify the, the the city. So we have Sherbrooke, and uh, the update also uh, applies to many columns. See here, for example, while this employee moved to uh, Sherbrooke, we can. So now modify address 1 and at the same time the postal code. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 
this update I'm gonna comment it this is the first one okay it's, it's a simple copy paste and update set so we said address one I'm gonna modify this one and I'm gonna modify postal code so set uh, update my table set address one equal so say, say for example she moved to this new address which is uh, 55 16 uh, 55 16 uh, mice street and so this is the first modification second one I'm gonna set also postal code postal code see here equal so postal code sorry equal uh, h h1 z 1 x 5 for example and where id equal to so just to be sure that okay okay just to be sure that I wrote the good columns so I have address it's like this it's written like this uh, this is my update so I update my table employee which is part of the schema DBO and those two schema and employee they are part of the training DB uh, instance and now we set the new address to this one and the postal code to this one and the ID I make sure that the ID is for this employee and now I execute this one it should be okay see here I have invalid column name address one okay address one okay it's with one D I think anyways I have the IntelliSense so you see it's in here and this is the beauty of uh, SQL Server 2012 so I use the IntelliSense to correct or to, to fix any uh, miswritten uh, column name and I have here one row affected so if I select now uh, execute my selection you see that this employee now moved to Sherbrooke and the new address is this one and the new postal code is this one and uh, that's it about uh, today's video I thank you and have a good day